I can save her, Anakin. Help me. I can save the one you love from death. Palpatine looked concerned as he said these words to Anakin. Again, Palpatine had mentioned Padme and her presumed demise. Anakin, what is he talking about? Padme is in danger. I foresaw her death. Anakin kept the fact that she was pregnant from Ahsoka and Mace. It wasn't important that they know about this. What was important was if Palpatine was telling the truth. Your mind plays tricks on you, Skywalker. Don't be influenced by the dark side. We must put an end to this once and for all. Anakin argued with Mace that Palpatine must stand trial before the Senate. He owns the Senate. He's too dangerous to be left alive. Mace raised his saber, readying it for an attack. Ahsoka could see Anakin tense up as he watched Mace prepare for an attack. Mace brought his saber down towards Palpatine. Suddenly, his saber came to a stop inches from Palpatine's chest. Mace looked to see two blue lightsabers blocking his from killing Palpatine. Mace looked, expecting to see Anakin coming to Palpatine's defense, but what he saw was something much worse. Mace saw Anakin's blade was positioned and stopped right at his wrist. He then saw that Ahsoka's blade was sandwiched between the two, protecting Mace and blocking Anakin. Master Windu, Anakin is right. Palpatine must stand trial before the Senate. Anakin, Master Windu is right as well. Don't let the dark side cloud your judgment. No one has the power to stop death. Think about it. He has been manipulating you at every turn. Ahsoka's words rang in his ears. Had he been manipulated? Anakin thought back to what Maul had said, and now Ahsoka as well. All his life, he had been in a position to seek counsel from Palpatine. His actions had been shaped by what Palpatine had said. He killed Dooku based on the same argument that Mace used for Palpatine. He has planted doubts that the Jedi don't trust him. Even in his time of need, he brought up Padme and was using her to sway him. Having looked back at the instance, Anakin realized that he had never relayed what his dreams were about. How could Palpatine possibly have known about Padme? Anakin knew one thing for certain. Palpatine was a Sith. He knows about the dark side and its power. It must be possible that those dreams were put there by Palpatine. You put those dreams in my head. You knew exactly what to put in my head because I told you about my mother and the dreams I had of her. My boy, can't you see? The Jedi don't trust you and are trying to confuse you. Only I can help you. Join me and together we can save Padme and rule the galaxy. I see past your lies and deceit. I'm no longer in the dark. You deserve to die for what you have done, but Snips was right. You will stand trial. You fool, you can't stop me. My plan will live on. I will see it to the end. It is the three of you that will die. Upon finishing his sentence, he shot out his Sith lightning one last time. He aimed his lightning at the three of them that stood in his way of escape. Thinking on their feet, the three of them blocked the lightning as it came towards them. This lightning was so strong and intense that it began to push them back, creating space that Palpatine needed for his escape. Now it was just the three of them between Palpatine and the door. They were losing ground fast. Anakin could see that there was enough room now for Palpatine to escape. Palpatine must have known that as well because Anakin could see him eyeing the door. Anakin couldn't let the Chancellor escape. Anakin began to turn his saber in hopes of deflecting the lightning away, hoping to give him space to push the attack. With one last movement of his blade, the lightning shot over his shoulder and into the wall of the back of the room. Anakin was now free to force an attack on the Sith Lord. Anakin jumped at Palpatine, forcing him back a few steps closer to the edge of the window. The end was in sight. There was nowhere for Palpatine to go. It's over. Give up. You are finished. You think that you've won, but you're greatly mistaken. This isn't the last that you'll see of me. There's no escape for you. That's where you're wrong, my boy. Palpatine stopped his attack and jumped out the window. Without thinking, Anakin jumped out after him. He couldn't let him get away and Anakin was now determined to finish the job one way or another. Anakin watched Palpatine, trying to keep an eye on him as they were falling through the air. They had been falling for no more than 10 seconds when Palpatine landed on the ledge below. Anakin landed a second behind Palpatine who was now running towards the edge to continue his way down. I won't let you escape, Anakin said, breaking into a sprint after Palpatine who was now over the edge. Anakin made it to the edge a second later, only to have the ledge explode underneath him. Palpatine had shot the ledge with some Sith lightning, causing it to explode in Anakin's face, delaying him one more second. Wiping the dust out of his eyes, Anakin drew his saber and ran off the edge. After another 10 second freefall, Anakin came to a rolling stop on the ledge below. He could see Palpatine about 30 feet in front of him running for the next ledge. At this rate, the chase would never end. If Palpatine made it to the core of Coruscant, he would be lost forever. Anakin couldn't let him escape. With his saber drawn, he started sprinting again, only this time, Having reached top speed, he threw his saber in the direction that Palpatine was running. 
His saber sailed through the air and caught Palpatine squarely in the back. Palpatine tripped upon impact and came to a sliding stop, face down, a few feet from the ledge. Anakin walked up to check on Palpatine and make sure the job was done. It's over, Chancellor. You've lost. Anakin said as he watched Palpatine writhe in pain. With one last exhale, upon removing his saber, Palpatine laid there, dead. It was now over. Anakin had brought peace to the galaxy. Standing there over Palpatine's lifeless body, Anakin could feel a huge weight being lifted off of himself. Anakin looked up to the window of the Chancellor's office to where they were not just a few minutes ago. He could see Master Windu and Ahsoka scaling down the 200 feet to where Anakin was. Anakin prepared himself for what Mace and Ahsoka would say when they caught up. It didn't take long for them to get there. I had no choice. I couldn't let him escape to the core of the city. We would have lost him. It's okay, Master. He gave you no choice when he chose to run. Yes, Skywalker, you have done well. You have helped the galaxy and have helped the future of the Jedi. All in a day's work, Master. You know we could use someone like you on this council, Master Skywalker, especially at a time like this. Anakin had longed to hear those words. Anakin finally understood why the council had been so tough on him. They were testing him to see his full potential. Anakin was grateful for the support and recognition he longed for. With this threat now behind them, the Jedi could focus on moving forward and rebuilding the Order. The Sith would always be a threat, but for the time being, the Sith were quiet. Anakin, as a newly appointed master, broke the news to the Council that he was married. To his surprise, the Council already knew of his marriage, and they would permit it and admit the children into the Order when the time came. For now, all was quiet. Anakin spent his time with family, preparing them for the inevitable return of the Sith. Anakin also prepared the future generations for such a task as well, so that the Jedi wouldn't be caught off guard again. Anakin has realized his full potential and saved the galaxy. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this conclusion to this what if. I hope you all have a great day. May the Force be with you. Always.